the volumes look so pretty all lined up like that with both the Namis kind of looking at them lovingly, you know? One Piece Unboxing and Battlefield 4 Midnight Launch Story. Come on, man. Another one of your lame-ass Shichibu stories? Shichibukai. Shichibukai. All right, I think I finally got it over here and uh, appreciate all the help. So, well, hello, my brothers and sisters of the Nerd Nation. I, as always, am Jim, here to bring you not a video on me pronouncing uh, the, the name of the Seven Warlords of the Sea in one piece. Uh, it's actually got a quick unboxing video over here. And, uh, and then I usually just wind up uh, trying to entertain you, or at least myself, for a few more minutes with some sort of uh, sad story of my, uh, my life. So, without further ado, we'll get to this overly complicated and large box. Now, as you can tell, this is probably a book or maybe a, a small package of C4 um, or something like that. But anyway, it, this is what is completely unnecessary. Whatever idiot took the two pieces of cardboard here and used the machine to push and glue them together and then didn't trim off around the edges. I mean, honestly, look at this thing. This thing that's like a foot by a foot and a half for a tiny little tiny little item that's in there. So without further ado, I guess we'll just tear this open and hopefully not break what's inside, okay? So, and I know too, some have warned me about spoilers, uh, covers of the One Piece volumes. And, uh, and for the most part, I can understand that. But also, um, and here, this is actually just one volume to help fill in the collection over there. So, volume 37, it looks like. And to tell you the truth with these, I don't ever really pay them much mind. I give them kind of a quick glance, you know, to make sure I have, and I really look for the number to put on there. So I'm not saying that uh, I, I'm not heeding your warnings, uh, Nation, but uh, I am saying that I, I think I'll be okay with it for now. Not to mention, I'm not going to go too far ahead. I just wanted to make sure that I was uh, kind of ahead of the curve over here with the holidays coming up and everything else. So, um, also, thank you very much for everyone who, you know, tried to send me messages and, you know, uh, private messages as well as comments about how to pronounce uh, Shichi Bukai. I had, I think it was, I had heard maybe somebody else in like a, a live stream or something that I was in. I, I thought I heard somebody else say it like that, Shichi Bukai, eh? So that's what I thought, you know, or maybe I was just adding that on in my head or whatever. But uh, but I had it, I was pretty close, you know, the, the, the shi, uh, Shichi Bukai, Shichi Bukai. So, um, and, and I know a lot of people are just like, oh, just screw it, just say warlords. That's fine, but, you know, ultimately I am trying to learn a lot of this and not just so I can, like, be in cool with the good people of One Piece. It's because, I mean, I'm obviously heavily invested in the series, and I'm going to be for quite some time, and I really truly enjoy it. I mean, myself, my wife, my 21-month-old toddler, my 6-year-old, and my recently turned 13-year-old all sit down and watch One Piece. Now, I know it's not the same because, you know, it's better when you have, uh, you know, the subtitled and, and this and that. And, and I watch those after we watch the episodes as a family, but it's really cool to sit down and have everybody watch and be like, oh, man, that's awesome move that he did. Or I really like this guy, you know. So we're not super far into it, like 15 or 20 episodes. But really, really cool thing, um, you know, that, that we're doing. And speaking of that, that's where my story is going to come from today. I, uh, I look a little more haggard than usual. And, uh, and the reason for that is, for those of you that haven't followed uh, the channel very long or, or listened to some of my long-winded rambling, um, I, you know, I'm a fairly big video gamer. Um, being married and having kids, it presents its challenges as far as being able to, you know, go out and have kind of a lot of that outside life. You know, I don't, I don't shoot pool, I'm not in a bowling league, I don't, you know, play softball, any of those type of things. Uh, for the most part, I do things, you know, I work, I do things with my kids. And, uh, and one of the things that I can do with, with my kids is, uh, is play video games. I have three boys. Uh, they're 13, 6, he's going to be 7 in a couple months. And then, of course, the, well, the baby doesn't play them. But um, my 13-year-old and I, they'll play a ton of games, you know, a lot of co-op type things, uh, which is a you know, great experience nowadays. Of course, we're excited about the new systems coming out. So anyway, last night we had planned this out about a couple, a couple weeks ago, and we try to do it a few times a year. Um, Best Buy, GameStop, a lot of the places around by me will do a midnight launch. Uh, if games come out on Tuesday, and they'll do a midnight launch at, at you know twelve oh one, you know uh, whatever Monday night technically, and you can go pick up the game and then play it until your heart's content. So. We've done like Gears of War, uh, Halo, well, Halo Reach, Halo 3, Halo 4, Halo ODST, I think, I forget. Uh, the Gears of War um, series, you know, anything with that. 
And uh, we try to stay away from the Call of Duty ones because you get like a real kind of mixed, weird crowd with uh, with that. So you, you get some real strange people. But um, at any rate, we go to the Best Buy that's right down the road. And it's kind of cool because we go there and they always have some kind of free swag that the company has sent to kind of promote the you know their game and obviously to kind of give to those people who've pre-ordered and, and who've come at the midnight launch, you know. So uh, I was a little bit upset because last night we wound up going. I stayed up with my son and we did. We pulled an all-nighter. And I'm getting a little bit too old for that shit, at least not unless I have the opportunity to take a nap for, like, you know, hours the day before, which I didn't. So, uh, anyway, he went and got the game. Uh, my wife wound up taking him, and I stayed back with the younger ones, and they went and scooped it up. They were home by 12, 10. I guess there was not many people there. And we were going to pick up uh, Battlefield 4 and Assassin's Creed 4, but I realized that, you know what, I've got a ton of games on Backlog that I haven't even played yet, mainly because I'm doing these videos. Because uh, I've been much, my free time has been just dr drastically decreased uh, because of this and, and the art and everything else. So I've got a ton of games I haven't even touched yet. You know, I bought Batman Arkham Origins last week. I got Grand Theft Auto Five. I've played for like an hour or two. Uh, Saints Row Four, Splinter Cell. You know, a ton of them. And then of course the next gen systems are coming out in a few weeks. So, to make a long story even longer, uh, we wound up deciding on Battlefield 4, and by we, I mean him, because ultimately, um, it really is about the kids. I mean, I could care less. I, I shouldn't say I could care less. I used to sit around when I was a kid, and if I knew, like, Zelda was coming out in, like, 28 days, I mean, like, every time, I'd dream about, like, Zelda coming out early and just me getting it, you know what I mean? I just, I'd have these dreams of, like, going to Toys R Us and just, like, they had a copy for you, like, here, Jim, you're such a good person, we give you, it's like three weeks early, you can have one. And back then, too, internet uh, was non-existent. And, um, and, and of course, you know, you looked in magazines and things like that, and you'd see pictures and you'd hear about it. So I used to be real, real like, oh, my God, it came out. I have to get it now. And even when I collected comic books, comic books came out on Wednesday, uh, as, of course, ma manga chapters are released on Wednesdays. And, I mean, Wednesday morning, I was I was at the comic shop picking up my stuff, you know. Um, and I was pissed if I had to work that day and then I had to wait till after work to get it. So um, I, I've become a little more patient as I've gotten older, and I think some of that comes from having kids and from being so busy. Many people ask me, they say, how, come you, how can you just hold yourself to reading a couple chapters of One Piece a day? It's so good. Well, number one, I'm going slow enough to where I can record these reviews and take it all in. And number two, I got tons of other shit to do. Trust me. Trust me when I tell you that if I wasn't doing this right now, there's a laundry list of things that I can be doing outside of here, work, home, everywhere, you know? So... We wound up uh, getting the the battlefield for it is is what my my son uh, James ultimately chose, and uh, and he you know he's more of a, he likes to play a lot of the multiplayer a lot of the online. I just don't have as much time to get into it because a lot of that is um, I'm not super great with a twitch trigger finger, so I have to like learn the traffic patterns. I have to learn the map, and uh, and ultimately otherwise or be with a decent team or a decent squad. Otherwise, I'm you know average at best. So I haven't had a chance recently over the last year or two to really invest the time in a multiplayer aspect, but uh, I figured, what the hell, we'll pick it up, we'll play. So we got ourselves a couple of uh, couple of energy drinks uh, by buddy Anime Rick, uh, and as a matter of fact, uh, we'll give a shout out to Anime Rick. Anybody who hasn't checked the guy out, he's got a good channel. Uh, he's only got a few hundred subscribers. Go over there, give him a little bit of love. I'll put uh, you know put a link to his uh, his channel in the uh, in the description box down below. But uh, we were chatting yesterday uh, through, I don't know, a text message, Facebook, whatever it was, one of the social devices. And I told him I was doing the all-nighter, and he said, man, you got to try this Sour Apple, you know, monster, or Sour Apple Rockstar, you know. So we wound up getting some energy drinks. I had a couple of those. And I don't know if I was just overly tired or what, but, I mean, we started playing, and, I mean, I put down one of these Rockstar energy drinks, and all it did for me was make me have to go to the bathroom like a two-year-old child. I mean, like every ten minutes on the dot, you know. It didn't wake me up at all. But uh, consequently, the, uh, the the story of, of the I guess the the moral of the story is is that you know there's you're never too old to have fun and, and to do neat things. I'm dead tired today, um, but ultimately it's rewarding because I know that my 13 year old who is still upstairs sleeping in his room, of course, and, and I've been up functioning on like I don't know 45 minutes of sleep. Uh, and when I say all nighter, we stayed up till six in the morning, and then all of a sudden he got tired of the multiplayer because we had we'd taken turns on the single player missions for a couple hours. And then about 4 o'clock in the morning, he's like, yeah, I want to play some multiplayer. And I was like, oh, go ahead, man, I'll chill and watch you, you know, whatever. And I was kind of dozing off, and then it's like 6 in the morning. He's like, all right, I'm tired of that. We can go to sleep now. And, you know, i got to get up at 6.30, 6.45 to be getting, you know, getting people up, getting people off to school, getting things ready for the day. So uh, thanks for listening. You know, it seems like a lot of you enjoy these stories. If you don't, obviously, you don't have to watch. But, um, you know, just kind of, I guess, a little insight into my, you know, goofy, unorthodox life. 
Um, but as I said, for me, even though I'm, I'm you know dead dog tired, it was a, it was a cool experience. It's a it's a fun game, really really good, and um, you know and, and had a blast doing it and created some memories because you know he's 13 now and. It's not going to be long before it's not going to be cool to hang out with me anymore. You know, no matter what I do or no matter how I am. So, uh, you know, I guess the thing is you got to you got to live for now and not for what may happen tomorrow or what happened yesterday. So, that's the moral of the story, folks. But uh, thanks a lot for watching my uh, unboxing. Thank you again for everybody helping me with the pronunciation. Hopefully, I have it now. Shichi Bukai, Shichi Bukai, Shichi Bukai, and uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, everybody enjoyed this video. So. If you did, remember to uh, you know leave a comment in the comment box down below. Uh, feel free, of course, as always, to hit the thumbs up, the like button if you think that I deserve it. And subscribe if you haven't done so already. I mean, it's free. It doesn't hurt. And uh, I don't know, it makes me a little bit happier. Um, I shouldn't really say that, though, because I'm honestly so busy with things. I'm just, you know, I'm always putting things out there and just kind of hoping for the best. And, and, of course, things have been going well here, but, um, you know, but ultimately, I'm not one of those people that's sitting around going, okay, oh, good God, we got one more. Oh, oh Jesus, we lost one, you know. Um, you know, if, if you come here and watch the videos and watch me ramble on about things or watch my reviews, it's of your own free will. I'm not forcing anybody to, but uh, it's certainly much appreciated. And, uh, and as always, we, you know, we love all you brothers and sisters. So we'll catch you in the next one, nation. Thanks for watching there, brothers and sisters. This is just such a sexy picture for so many reasons.